I always say out of high school, I don't think I would have succeeded in a college setting. My name is Jonathan Workla. I'm from Hanover, Minnesota. I'm majoring in electrical engineering and I'm an Air Force veteran. So I was stationed in South Korea and I decided that I probably should start thinking about what my education was gonna look like. And I found that the University of North Dakota was one of the few schools that offered a completely online uh, degree program for engineering. So I joined uh, while I was overseas. But when I was deployed and I was taking a digi my digital electronics course, I didn't have access to a library or a test taking center. Um, they were very flexible with me. They allowed my um, commander to actually sit and proctor my exams for me. <laughs> so it was always very easy to feel a part of UND while I was not physically on campus, um, which was a moot point when I came here. But. <laughs> The first thing I did, I came into Grand Forks and I went to the student org fair in the spring. The first table I saw that had engineer in the name, uh, I was like, cool. So I walked over there, it was Engineers Without Borders. Um, and the then president um, encouraged me to show up to meetings. Like, this is great, what we do is we try and take the engineering skills that we're learning here and use them in real world situations somewhere else in the world. And I eventually became president of the chapter and we currently are working on a project in Guatemala. And it was um, a rural village, didn't have access to clean water. Um, so we actually traveled down there and we got to assess the situation. We came back, we spent the past year designing a water storage and purification system for this village. So COVID was um, a huge impact. We were actually supposed to travel as a team down to the community. We had two options, delay, building the system until we could travel and build it ourselves or do what uh, we call the remote implementation and we would hire contract local contractors to build it for us. The chapter really came through and will raise the money to pay contractors so that we can get it done now for them because they're going to need it more than ever. So we actually just broke ground and I got the email from our contractors in Guatemala with the progress pictures. Um, and I was bouncing off the walls, looking at pictures of someone just placing a concrete cinder block on the ground. And I just was so proud and thankful that from two years ago when we first started this, seeing that long-term planning come to fruition and come to being realized in the real world was just amazing. Coming together with different students from different departments and even different faculty and professional engineers from the local community coming in and helping us provides a really cool background and a really wide uh, base of knowledge and experience. UND really opened my eyes to all the different types of careers that I could have. I would really like to continue working in municipal water. Um, so I, I, as of right now, and you know, two years ago I would have told you something different, so I graduate in about a year um, and I might have a different answer, but I'm also, I'm not worried about having a different answer because I know if I do change it, I'll, I'll know what to do, I'll be prepared for it, and that's very much thanks to UND.